Here we are, the inaugural broadcast from the Falks and Sons studios of the Ancestral Hobble. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Or howdy. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night. Uh... Right. Um, here we are. Good evening. But where are we? Where are, where are we? We've... Good evening. Good, good afternoon. E good afternoon, good evening, good morning, depending where you're watching this. Hello, and welcome to yet another episode of Falks and Sons. Welcome. Good evening. May Kristen Mass. Good morrow. As good as morrow. You your line as well. Good morrow. Good evening. And as uh, we can see, we are in front of the uh, Christmas tree decorated by the woman I married, who happens to have been your mother. The 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 woman, the, the most popular thing about you. Uh, I believe that is the uh, customary mother. line. And then we have the the Christmas person is here. And we are here, and it's very festive. And uh, yes, we're very very excited to be on the uh, television screens once again. Yes, uh, who'd have thought, Max? I know we we are as you as you have written the Kardashians of cigars of uh, of cigars, or maybe the Carry On film of cigars. I'm not quite sure. We, we, yeah, there was a good one on last night. Which was that one? What was that? I one? forget. We had Carry On Dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the favourite is Carry On Up the Kyber. That's, Car a, that's Carry a very, On very Up the Kyber. One. That's a proper festive film. Uh, yeah, but not as much of a festive classic as this is destined to become as year after year we will recall our great and many highlights. Yes. But first viewers, may I cast you back to those dreary days when it was announced that we were to be locked down. Whereupon, <coughs> clucky us in the ancestral hovel of Shepherd's Bush, we decided to do our bits for national morale and smoke cigars. Yes. And only by chance did we happen to leave an iPhone running in the background and stumble upon this footage. And thus was born the great media phenomenon known as Falks and Sons. And here we are. Sometimes Nick Falks and Sons. Sometimes good, um, sometimes exceptionally <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I'll Would allow you to cast your mind back now to the first broadcast. Yes, yes. the inaugural broadcast from the Falks and Sons studios of the Ancestral Hobble. And um, I'd like to really talk about cigars with uh, Maximilian, Master of Havana's. I am his son, my father's son. Well, I mean, well, I, I remember in the first, the first episode. episode we were smoking um, I can't a remember. San Cristobal. San Cristobal El Principe, the multi-purpose oh, cigar. The best cigar, the tool, the finest tool cigar. It is uh, indeed. Yeah. And it was uh, a great moment of great comedy and hilarity. Yeah, I think I was going to fetch one of your uh, books. Uh, on cigars. Yes, which we've, uh, omit, we've, which we've omitted to run today. So. And uh, my backside was visible for a clear few seconds in a carry on moment. There was a carry on, on camera. moment of quite unparalleled um, uh, carry on. The Sid James himself would have been proud. Yeah, it was a very, very good moment. Um, I hope we'll be showing this on the screen at the moment. I that hope we are. Enough. It is a brilliant moment of yeah. classic slapstick comedy. Uh, yeah, along with. Um, our finer moments come some uh, funnier ones, uh, which we've uh, we've had a look back through the archives, the historical archives. Mm. Um, and yeah, so what 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 other funny moments happened? I think we had a crocodile um, smoking a cigar. That was the Sir Mortimer um, Wheeler tribute broadcast. Wasn't yes, it? Sir Mortimer Wheeler with the big game. That was a good ah one. yes, I mean Sir Mortimer Wheeler, what a great cultural figure. We 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 reignited the passion for his works. I think in um, in yeah, the... that man was a genius. He was almost as much as Sid James, um, but, uh, or more, Kenneth more, Williams. More stylistically for me, um, what did I? I was, oh, that I was, was a genius. Uh, yeah. You were, we were both wearing safari suits on that one, and mm. we had a Patrick Mavros oversized matching silver ash. It's like a house. Oh, what happened? Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Ooh. Can we have a close up here, please? Is that an ashtray? How does that work? Wow! Wow! Oh. You've got even like a cigarette bit. Oh, you've got a cigarette and a cigar. And bit. it's got it's got black stones of Im immense value for the eyes. And there's, uh, what are they, like... Oh, you've got a monkey smoking a, two smoking monkeys. a cigar. Are they smoking a cigar? They're smoking a cigar? No. Wow. Well, come on, let's get it out. We've got another one. We've got another one. Yeah, exactly. Each they weighing a kilogram and a half, probably. Yes, and... Um, oh, I, I've forgotten to say. What, what, are we, what are we smoking, if I could interrupt, you know, halfway through this... Uh, um, looking through the archives. I've, I've got a Hoyo Dugome from my dear friend Tej. 
uh, and you are smoking a a Siglier. Is it a Siglier? No, it's not a Siglier at it's all. A no, 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 it's a Siglier. It's not. What is it? It's a fifty. What is it? What is this? What is this? What, what do they call that one? Um, uh, oh, the Supremo. Rust Supremo. Rust 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 Supremo with, with a water stained yeah, limited edition band. Yes, that'll add to the flavour. That'll add to the flavour and it adds to the antiquity. Mm. But anyway, back to the uh, we had. So we had we had some Mortimer Wheeler. We've had the guillotine when the guillotine. The was guillotine first from Frances uh, from mm. Hugo de Ferranti. Again, another great moment uh, for posterity. That. Mm. Although we are opposed, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, sorry, viewer. Colors getting carried away. They think we had more than one person watching us. You might have two. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, not simultaneously. Um, simultaneously. And uh, yes, we're, we're we're opposed to capital punishment on the whole, but um, we make an exception for this. The Hugo de Ferranti sponsored cigar. Yes. It was great, and it was one of our uh, Falkensian reactions as well. We oh, oh, that was also they were, that's also quite. Oh, terrible, no, no. oh, oh. Uh, but no, that was uh, that was good. Uh, I mean, I'm sure there's some other moments where uh, Freddie were, were mm. brilliantly edited. Talking about Freddie, do, 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 do you remember when Freddie was? Oh filming? yes, that was a good one. One of the heat wave moments mm. in the yard, and he was in his bathing costume. Mm. He looked like a Slim Aaron's character who'd just come out of the pool at the Hotel du Cap. And that was great. Without the Hotel du and Cap, and I think we were in pool. kind of like, you know flannel rowing blazers, or you were at least, and I was. I in was, I was in. And he was, in, he was in, um, and flannel trousers, and he was in, he was in his uh, 1970s uh, or swimming trunks um which 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 i thought was very very good uh very british of us um yeah it was again a moment inspired one would think spiritually by that scene of carry on up the kyber when the, the the palace is being destroyed the british fortress is being destroyed and the masonry is falling down and people are running in and out wounded and everybody's just eating their tea and then Somebody opens a bottle of champagne a little loudly, and everybody scurries for cover. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I mean such is the song. Almost gave me a heart Stiff attack. Up a lip. Yeah, yes. that's, that's such a good man. I think so it was Sydney Rough when, Diamond. When was I first introduced to that film? When I was a mere what, eight years old, quite possibly. Quite I'm possibly. a huge fan of Carry On. Yes. And nowadays, you know, they they almost outlawed the film. I would have thought it would have been banned by now. Yeah. Well, they had to do some sort of kind of warning uh, before the film. Didn't no, they? was it? Was it expressing oh, yeah, views of the time? Expressing views of the time. Yeah. <laughs> expressing views of the time. Yes. Um, Usually towards the objectification of Barbara Windsor. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but yes, uh, so, uh, but, but there's also been other other moments um, on location ah, that we've enjoyed. On location. I mean, not only have we been around the ancestral hovel, we've been in the uh, railing parklands where we spotted a, uh, some deer were spotted in the, the hovel. Deer, back in the ancestral hovel. The ground. Uh, the ground. We're there, we're there, we're the parklands of the ancestral hovel. The parklands. Oh, what is that? There's a deer stag over there. Stag, you see? yes, yep. yes. Given that the Rolling Parklands is a 15 foot by 15 foot scrap of backyard with fake Yorkstone paving, that was quite some achievement to find a couple of deer in there, but finally yeah, we did. Quite impressive. And then most of the rest of the uh, broadcasts are filmed in front of our tribute to uh, the, um, the great, uh, our great role model Lenin. Lenin! 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 Lenin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we've also there is in the Smolensky Institute, I believe. Although we have no need to, to venture outside or over the moat of the ancestral hovel. Absolutely um, no need at all. We have. When a man tires of the ancestral hovel, he tires of life. Yeah. <laughs> and but but we have. Who said that? You said that. I said that. Yeah. Channeling yeah. channeling uh, Boswell's description of Johnson or something. I think yes. Yeah, I think so too. And uh, oh, Keats. We had Keats, didn't we? We had a reading from Keats. Oh yeah, actually the viewer asked for more of that. Yes, they know what's good for them. Mm. And then I had that amazing viewing from that man who was clearly on psychedelic drugs when he wrote about Partagast. Do you remember how it doesn't dig, how it doesn't um, degrade the spirit? Or oh the yes, man, we love but that. Really Partagast, the artisticness. Not like opium, no hashish. No hashish. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, it does not moment. degrade the humanity, turning turning our higher impulses into mere bestial urges. Yes. Exactly, right. viewer. But this uh, is why we smoke cigars, because we are men of great refinement or refinery, should you wish to put it in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> should you wish to, indeed. But what we, we I was going to say, we, we have ventured outside of the Ancestral Hovel and visited uh, some fine establishments uh, such as uh, the Hackett shop on Savile Row. 
Okay, Jeremy, Jeremy, to my old friend Jeremy Hackett. Jeremy took us. Uh, there I believe for the it was. Um, I was the person who introduced him to the Hoyo de Monterey Epico Number Two. I think he was smoking machine-made crap before then. Um, I think yeah, he speaks. He speaks uh, somewhat about the crap he was. He smoking. does smoke about the crap he was speaking, or does he speak about speak the crap? Speak about he was the smoking? crap he was smoking. Anyway, is whatever it is, he smokes. No more crap is being smoked by Jeremy Hackett now, only the yeah. finest cigars. Yes, and I believe our dear friend Alberto Mendez uh, introduced him to the Upman Anujados, which we smoked in that oh, video. Oh, Here we are, that's oh, the Anujados, you see the Upman you and then the that, second Jeremy? band, you signifying you that it's aged. You? Um, yeah, lovely Fox Press. I always make a mess of it. I Here do we are. Too. I, I do and too. also, if you'd light it for me as well, it would be great. <laughs> <laughs> we could yeah, smoke it for you. Like, we could smoke like it for you as well. There you are. Look at that. I've cut oh, it. Am I well. having this one? No, well, that's, that's Jeremy's. Jeremy's. Yeah. That's Jeremy's. But if you could light it. Oh yes, of course. I will light it for you. Yeah, of course, thanks. certainly. Do you have a? Um, I actually have a. Have, I have a cigar you have fire? Lighter. I do. I have ten. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't bring any fire with me. God, what is what is this? I mean, is this a sort of? I know. I mean, I really. It's all to the trade. Yeah, I brought cigars, but nothing to light them. Oh, a cigar of such sublimeness. Mm. Or sublimity, or if you uh, subliminality, to say it or, in a different way. Uh, submarine, n submarine, submarinally. Yes, we we forgot to grow Will's capstan type beards, didn't we, this evening? Yeah, well, we I, wanted yeah. to come on dressed as submariners. It would take this me evening. an evening and a half. An really evening and a half, uh, but in our in our in our heavy knit, uh, yeah. sort of submarine man, maybe made, what about knit feral, feral, ferals or you know, Shetlands or those um, some stuff like that, Aaron's or whatever, heavy knitwear and a beard and maybe some knitting or a pipe. That would be a very well. But instead, we our... we stole the look of um, the art director Frederick, and um, Frederick Alexander no, Frederick Fulk Alexander Fox. Yes. Fulk -Kess. Um, this is a Pendleton which he gave me for Christmas after I admired his during when we do you remember when we were photographed by and the Financial this is his. Times? He was photographed in that when the Financial Times magazine asked me to write upon the media phenomenon oh. and cultural uh, explosion in the interest of a Fauci famed Sons. photograph by the esteemed Alexander Coggin, is it not? Indeed. And my great editor Joe Ellison saw in our inane ramblings true written gold <laughs> <laughs> i don't even know it's never been written no. i wrote it oh yes did you read true. it though you uh, i read it i read it twice before it was released god I had a pre review oh, yeah. did freddie read it freddie doesn't have to read it no freddie he's probably. far too intelligent he's far too intelligent doesn't he's... have to further his knowledge like no I no, no no like us like us no, 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 no. he knows if there is who was that Oh, God, who was it? Was it Benjamin Jowett, that famous Don of Balliol in the uh, early 19th century, who, if... Ah, if, if oh, yes, my dear friend, Benjamin, Benjamin Jowett, Jowett, the, the yes. Don, the, the Don, I yeah, think I it was, I could, be, I could be up the wrong thing, but I think Benjamin ah. Jowett, if it he don't know it, if Benjamin. Jowett don't know it, it's not knowledge, or something like that. I mean, ah, that's what we used to shout. The cry goes up, the cry goes up, we used to say it in Latin, That's yeah, so what we used to days. shout at him, we used to shout, what did we shout, what did we shout, what was his quote, sorry? Uh, if Jowett don't know it, it's not knowledge. That's what we used to say to yeah. him. Well, anyway, say, yeah. I mean, I, I, anyway, whatever, the Benjamin Jowett de nos jours. But anyway, we've had some other fine moments at uh, the Meyerowitz, the, the, the finest opticians uh, known to man, uh, mm. at least in the West End of London. Um, and it is great. And we, we smoked a cigar indoors. That was places. the Upman Petty. No, it was an Upman of some sort, wasn't Goodness, it? Goodness, no, I can't even remember. Punch, punch short the punch. I think it was one of them, wasn't it? Oh, oh it was. And I was te you were testing the, both the Oxford and the Cambridge sometimes. Uh, to, yes, to add some intellectuality to the mix. Yes, or intellectualism, or intellectularity, or yeah. um, intellectuality, uh, interlocutorial. If you prefer to say it in a different way. Yes, and uh, then also, uh, so we, well, happy, days, a, happy days, happy uh, days. Uh, I, I get quite really nostalgic good. already for those. Well, yeah, those were those were happy days. We had some more happy days at Connolly. Ah, uh, always speaking happy days of, at Connolly. Uh, speaking of Connolly, look at that. I'm trying to get that ash. I'm trying to keep that ash. Do you remember when the man to put this put, on? Ah, you're going to put your Connolly hat on. Oh, oof, oof. Can Maybe you, I'll can you take off this. Do you want to do Be careful of it. Be careful. You want me to keep the ash? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We chose contrasting cigars. I chose a large ring gauge Mac, Josie, typically youthful. To showcase what we each enjoy. Yes. Our individual tastes. Oh, yes. And uh, maybe I should just ash it, otherwise. 
my mother would be very angry. Ooh! And so we've also had Connolly, we enjoyed the Napoli, the Napoleonic knife, uh, the petrified wooden ashtrays. The petrified ashtrays with wood that rotated for several thousand pounds only. A pound a year or something. Yes, no, a pound every millennium or something, or a pound every century, I can't remember. We had good moments at the Bamford High. Ah, the Bamford Bunker. Smoked a quai d'Orsay Senadores. Smoked a quai d'Orsay Senadores and surveyed various knickknacks. The Man Cave Par Excellence, they call that one. Mmm. That was Home a of the finest. and Patek Anonymous. I'm not wearing my, my, my famous ag famed Aqua, weight, Aqua Racer. Why are you not wearing your Aqua Racer? Maybe we uh, can take I've it. I've gone for a uh, Hublot. I've gone for a, a, a highly original Rolex. A Roly. I've gone for a, yes, the Hublot, the finest. One of yours, actually. Uh, one of my old ones made, I think, unique. Yeah, unique. unique but but about, about, sort of, I think, before you were born, actually. I think that's the only mechanically movemented um, Hublot GMT. Probably a museum piece It's in itself. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a Probably great many watch. collectors around the world are at this moment. Beating a treat, do we beating watch. a retreat, beating a path, a path to our website to purchase that watch. Even in this time, because you can actually go beating and shooting during the virus. I think it's tier nine that they reintroduced fox hunting, I think. Yes, and then that's in your hundreds, in their hundreds, no problem. It's yes. absolutely fine. I know, I know. Uh, I love Pretty Patel's. One of the great moments was Pretty Patel being asked whether they could combine a grouse shoot with a birthday party. Mm. I say, why not a funeral and a wedding as well to really bring the numbers up? Yes, I mean, that's a real tier five problem. What was it the thing you do is you go shooting and just have a funeral for the birds so you can have... Ah, uh, uh, and a birthday and party as a well. birthday for one of the birds as well. Yes. Um, but then, so, uh, and we've also had uh, fine moments, of course, at the, fi uh, the finest cigar smoking establishment in the world, Davidoff mm -hmm. uh, of London, where we've had two episodes, uh, our highest viewed episodes. Uh, on the, I, mean, um, I, I was amazed, I was amazed. I think 10,000 people tuned in in one hour, mm. one minute. Yes, I on, think on, on Her Majesty's YouTube. Uh, yeah, and I think we yeah. obviously put a sort of something spelling mistake that allowed them to believe it was something else they were watching. Yeah, maybe no, we no, it was. It was no, just. No, no, it, it was just, just the Sahakians. The, 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 the power of the Sahakians. Yeah, they. Well, everyone loves them. There's, there's yeah, no Kirby doubt. Allison loves them, and Kirby was a Kirby, Kirby was, gave us a name check. Yeah, he did. He, he, he said we were one of the more amusing broadcasts in this line. Mm. It is my, it is a dream for me to do a Fouts and Sons with uh, Mr. Allison. Uh, you know, given that he's been a feature of our lives with that, with, that, with, that, with, that, with that sort of title sequence of which we're very envious. It's like... He could, we could... Yes. Yeah, the, it's the like the Da Vinci there. Code, I think mm. I likened it to. I mean, it's, and we are but sort of Tom and Jerry to his Da Vinci Code. Mm. And um, as we have, we, have, we, uh, have we been anywhere else? Richard Meal! Oh! Where, where you left, you've managed to get the cork stuck in the bottle of Chateau, what was it, Lafitte or something? Yeah, it was one of the ones, it was, I think we chose it because it was near your birthday or because it was red and white like the watch. Uh, like the watch, well that's the way you should choose I think one. it was a Chateau uh, Rothschild, uh, wasn't it? Was uh, Rothschild. I mean, this is where you need your torque indicator, yeah. pounds Ooh. per square inch, Whoa. pressure. Oh, oh, and the cork oh, is oh, almost, no! 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 We'll have to, the cork, the cork's cut, what we could do is... Oh, uh, no! What 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 what's uh what, what, oh, what should we do in this? God. this uh... Well, at least it wasn't you who did it. It's only me. You see, I I've told got a you. Chateau Mouton London tap here and mm -mm, yum yum. I've got a Chateau Coca Cola, delicious. Which reminds me of our savor the difference. What was that? With Kopi Luwak. Ah, the difference coffee. Another one difference of our coffee. early sponsors. That was uh, that was but our early but longest. Yes, Kopi Luwak. Mm -mm. I've never had one and do not intend to have anything that's passed through the bowels of any civet cat. It's you nice. quite like it though, don't you? It is perfectly good. <laughs> I don't mind it. No, you really don't. No, you I, mean, like I, I, I actively enjoy it. Seek it out, yes. Seek it out. Yeah, and I see it. you use the Cuban pronunciation there. Very good, very good. Yes. <laughs> uh, and now, what we'll do is we will enjoy our cigars uh, and leave you with some moments from something or other uh some good outfits oh god we, we had some we good outfits you to enjoy some clips of good outfits we didn't we didn't move a muscle did we 
I try not to move a muscle most times. So. <laughs> it's had a sort of checkered history, hasn't it, this one a bit? Yeah, when I first had it, I thought it, was, it wasn't very nice at all. And then... Still, once again, very much the morning for us at uh, 3 to 3 in the afternoon. Uh, so uh, we're going to have a morning cigar. Powered, powered by the Vuelta Abajo. <laughs> Brought to you in association with whoever wants to pay for it. Yeah. Hello! How's your cigar gang? Oh, Are you going to give a full report to Ted? Oh, it's the best, it's the best. It's I'm, very happy. I to I'm say. very happy with this thing. That's all I need to say. Robusto Supremos. This is, this, is, uh, this is a very nice cigar. Well, for me, I like it because it takes very little effort. Mm. So I enjoyed some outfits. We enjoyed some outfits. We wore them. Uh, yeah, we wore them. We wore them. <laughs> and they will have we didn't mess that. around the ones with the hats, the cowboy boots, the lot. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the one with dinner the jackets. We all, glasses, seem to wear, dinner jackets. we all seem to wear dinner jackets all uh, the time. I enjoyed that. Barely able to get out of them. And I think when we were photographed, another one of the pieces of media coverage we received for our noble efforts in broadcasting the peerages are to come in the post. Um, was uh, we were uh, nominated Rakes of the Year, do you remember? And I wore, uh, we were all photographed in our dinner jackets. Um, well, you were in the velvet, Freddie was, was in, in velvet, a, and I was in tartan. Um, uh, the tartan trousers, trousers as well, but I was wearing Freddie's uh, lapels, I think. Yes, mm, I think that's how it was. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think we were smoking cigars actually. At the time. No, we didn't smoke cigars on that rare occasion. We I were know. celebrated. We were already branching out beyond our metier into other spheres of. Uh, yeah media influence um and but we were, also we were really the danger of cosmetics it was it, i believe it's worked for the kardashians i can't see why they couldn't have a little bit of rouge or something from us yeah or more maybe a perfume a perfume uh, oh the tobacco i it. think it might have been used but, but of the all the limited editions tobacco de Havan. yeah i've had uh, i've got uh vigueros uh, vigueros what does that make you smell like a cuban countryman yeah well i hope so because uh, it's uh the vigueros are very popular aren't they I dare say it's a democratic cigar. But talk that brings us neatly onto our enjoyment of cigars. What did we have? I mean, you were very That's struck a, by the Selection Superba. You had um, Claridges. the Claridges, wasn't it? Yes. That was a good cigar. Do you remember we put that list together? Yeah, there was, uh, was some weird stuff on there, and I realised that I... Well, uh, we, we, we wondered why the list was it. so weird and so interesting, and then we remembered that we'd actually assembled it some years earlier. Yeah, isn't it so good? They're just some, some, some of that stuff. People took our advice. Yeah, yeah it's quite astonishing. Mean, you know, that is something that um, never ceases to amaze me, viewer. But yeah, some of our favourite cigars, I, am, I would have to say. Did you enjoy, you enjoyed the talisman and the uh, nip of uh, Louis Trez that we had here? Ah, that time. the nip. That yeah, was, was for one, one of the competitions we did for in our series of broadcasts for Mark's Club. Do you remember? Did that competition even go through? Did, did people I think some, there, there, was, there was a grateful winner. I think it was... How do you spell Cohiba or something, wasn't it? Some sort of like that. What it, or, or, yeah, or, or I don't know. Anyway, whatever it was, there was a winner and it was a fine. I should have won myself because it was a great box of cigars. Uh, but we also had some other fine moments at Master. Do you remember we broke lockdown in the Domin Cummings approved manner? Mm. When, 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 when did we do? Ah, and we smoked some Lanceros. We smoked skinny cigars, didn't we? Yes, not dissimilar from what I am enjoying now. And very dissimilar from what I'm enjoying now. And then we had Antonino yes. who made us... Some beverages to go with. Yes, my beverages were water-based given on the grounds that I have consumed my lifetime limit of alcohol, but you yeah. were able to imbibe... I mean, I had, a, I had a water martini, which was a new one on me. It's, and I had a real one. It, it's water with a dash of water. And a hint of and where shaken with some frozen water and then served with water condensing on the outside. It's quite a beverage. <laughs> yeah, and I had the real version, which I wasn't allowed to drink too much of. Well, I certainly wasn't going to countenance the consumption of alcohol while operating a lit cigar. I mean, honestly. <laughs> they can get quite hot. They can get quite hot. Uh, and uh, so there yeah. were a couple of nice broadcasts. What else well, I also enjoyed Davidoff 40th anniversary. Oh. We all smoked all together uh, at Davidoff. That was a very special moment, actually. Yeah, it's always great to with the, with the Sahakians. Yeah, the two episodes that we did, uh, one of ours was, it was one of the most recent, actually, the special 53. Mm -hmm. Also a good cigar. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd also had the Davidoff 3000 at one point, which is the same footage of one of our favourite outfits. Uh, yes. The blue tinted glasses and the Panama hat and the cream yeah. suits. Yeah, that was a that was a that was a good one. That was one of our best sellers, wasn't it? One of our best sellers. I mean, we had some very high viewing figures for one. Yes. Well, one okay. the one with um, well, the Davidoff one was ten thousand at the shop. But there was somebody so one was fourteen thousand you know, or something. Very Ridiculous. kind of the uh, our single our single viewers. viewer to view it fourteen thousand times. Yeah, it was really quite 
quite astonishing that they have the time, but we can't thank you enough. So um, yeah, thank you. From what the other bits of guards? What other bits of guards? We had the um, San Cristobal, mm. Torreon, of course. But we had that before the summer. We had the uh, Robusto Supremo, which is always a good cigar to have. We had uh, always a good cigar to have, just casually. Yes. Yes, it is. Never. We don't want to overdo things, you know. Mm -hmm. Like a trivial cigar like that, or a 1966, or a Cohiba Sublime, yeah, or something yeah, like stop. that. A little. It's just a day to morning smoke. Morning smoke. I had that on the way to work on my bicycle. Yes, yes, something that doesn't require too much effort or thought. No problem. Usually on the motorbike, if I'm on the Supremo, I think. Yeah, well, yes, I suppose you're there at the office quick, but if you're cycling, I suppose you've got time for the Sublime. Yeah, or even the double Corona. Yeah, ah, oh, the, the, that would be the Partagas Lusitanius Reserva, which was one of the best cigars ever made in the history of the. Mm. Um, it's it burning of tobacco, I think. Or the Cohiba 2003 double Corona. No, you're not that, that's, that would be. That would that would be that would be a good cigar. Yeah, I might get I might get lost on the way to work. Yeah, uh, even though I, I make that journey uh, five days a week. And um, what other good cigars have we had? I think we just had you know I think each cigar has been good. Oh, we do remember we had the we had the Romeo and Juliet where I did that very strange. Uh, that was, was that uh, when I was that was before I handed over. Freddie better include that. Yeah, that's a good. One. Ooh, it tastes good. It's a nice cigar. Hmm. Very, very, uh, yeah, it's a good one because that was something that I thought, well, we'd make this look a little more like a kind of news uh, bulletin, give it that news feel for the for the cigar smoker on the go. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really have, we wanted something a bit more energetic and shorter. Mm. We did it once because it was so terrible. Someone uh, wrote in to say it looked like a 1980s Top of the Pops. Well, I mean, I do like Top of the Pops from the 80s, so what can I say? I I agree. I mean, I would say that's a mark of favour, but yeah. um, or maybe more 70s as well, the Osmonds. Crazy yeah. horses. Crazy horses. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah, it was a good fun. Anyway, it's been a dreadful year on the whole. I mean, yeah. it's, it's been nice to spend time with you and my other son. Yeah. Uh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. You know. You're, de better. you're a decent bloke. You're very kind. Your 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 affection is noted. <laughs> yes. Yes. I'm, you're like a son to me, as is Freddie. You know? Yeah. And you, being a son of my grandfather. I'm like a father to I'm you, like Max, let's face it. Me. I mean, a somewhat distant father at times, but yeah. a father nonetheless. And my mother, we can't forget to mention her. No, she the does. The designer of this beautiful food. And, uh, and the, basically the, 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 the cement in our rather fragmented lives. Yeah, it's not her. Yeah, she does not want to be associated with us. She's far too well brought up, moments. as Freddie pointed out the other day. He's like Freddie. Freddie's very similar. He doesn't want <laughs> to really be associated. But, uh, but we're happy to toil, toil thanklessly in the grove of the... Mm. Uh, and on the Parnassus of the cigar, as we toil, was the, the foothills of the Parnassus of the cigar. Yeah, yes. Bringing uh, the viewer along on our ascent. We will be <laughs> Virgil to the Italian fellow who wrote that long poem about the, um, you know, Dante's Inferno. The, the, that's the fellow, Dante's Peak. Do you remember that movie with um, James Bond in it? It wasn't James Bond, it was somebody else. No, Dante's not... Peak. not um... Not uh, Remember Towering Inferno. That oh, was, that was a proper film. A Brown real Velvet film. Dinner Jackets. That's a real thing. Brown, is that 70s? It was oh, like with a frilly shirt with brown bits on it. I mean, that was proper. That was amazing. But uh, yeah, we're very happy to welcome to welcome the end of this year. As and, Just uh, as happy as a viewer is to welcome the end of this particular broadcast, I would imagine. Yeah, and the next is an especially long one, and the next time we'll see you be in uh, 2021. Maybe if you're very unlucky, you will. Yes, I mean, or maybe we will keep. Uh, we will keep. Uh, we will continue our good work. Mm. It looks like, unfortunately, we'll be fighting the virus one corona at a time for a little longer. So, thank you very much, my viewer. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and good luck and goodbye. <laughs>